Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Did you know that there are several types of attraction? These types include sexual attraction and romantic attraction, which makes one desire romantic contact or interaction with another individual, emotional attraction, aesthetic attraction, and so on. So with that said, have you ever been attracted to someone romantically? Those who haven't are defined as aromantic. You may be thinking, well, isn't aromantic just another word for asexual? There are actually two different things. Those who are asexual don't experience sexual attraction, while someone who is aromantic doesn't experience romantic attraction, but can still experience sexual attraction. You can be both aromantic and asexual, or one or the other. It's also important to know aromanticism exists on a spectrum, so you may feel romantic attraction in some cases under a certain circumstance. So how do you know if you are aromantic? Here are six signs to help you find out. Number one, you've never had a crush. Have you ever had a crush? In high school, it's all anyone can ever seem to talk about, but you just didn't seem to get it. Sure, you could admire someone and wanna get closer to them as a friend, but romantically, the desire just wasn't there. Two, you don't find yourself romantically attracted to others. You may have tried out a romantic relationship, but it never really clicked with you. You went out on dates, but you have no idea what those butterflies in your stomach everyone speaks of is all about. The attraction to having a romantic evening with flowers and romantic notions simply was often not there. Number three, you've experienced platonic love, but don't desire romantic love. You love your family, you love your friends, but falling in love isn't something you've often experienced. Yes, you may eventually love your sexual partner as you may still experience sexual attraction, but the love you've experienced isn't the cuddly romantic affection others are expecting. Number four, you prefer being single. Do you care if you have a partner or not? For aromantics, it may simply just not be on their mind as often as others. In fact, they often prefer being single. Now, some aromantics still may want a partner for different reasons, such as having children or living with a best friend who understands them on a deeper level. But being single often doesn't phase them. Number five, you may have felt sexual attraction, but don't feel romantic emotions along with it. Have you been sexually attracted to someone but often don't feel the romantic emotions along with it? Aromantics can feel sexual attraction, but that spark of romance is more often not there. They just don't find themselves into the whole lovey-doveyness lovey doveyness Is that a word? Oh well. And number six, you're okay with never having been in love. Have you ever been in love? No? Are you okay with that? Yep, you may just be. The thing is, because of all of the love around us, many aromantics may think they should want to find love. But at the end of the day, they simply don't mind the fact that they've never fallen in love. The internal desire may simply not be there and they're completely happy and okay with that. Does this sound like you? Well, if you relate to these signs, you may very well be aromantic. Which signs did you relate to the most? Did you know about aromanticism before this video? Let us know in the comments and feel free to share your experiences with the community of Psych2Goers in the comment section down below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to click the like button and share this video with someone who might enjoy it subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. And as always, thanks so much for watching.